What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with droidforums.net. You know me better as DroidModderX, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install a ROM via safe strap on the Droid 4. That's right, we've got Cyanogen Mod, we've got AOKP, and uh, there's some other things that are coming down the pipeline for the Droid 4, thanks to Hash Code and his development of safe strap and the ROMs that he's put together. Uh, so today, I'm going to show you how to flash a ROM in safe strap. Let's get it where you can see here okay so right now I'm on the stock ROM and I have installed safe strap if you guys don't know how to install safe strap check out my video uh, installation guide it's at the droid forums YouTube channel uh, so once you have safe strap installed you're gonna want to uh, boot into safe strap so just power down your device uh, make sure you head over to the droid 4 ROM section of the forums and grab a droid 4 ROM put that on your SD card and have it there, have it ready for installation. And we'll just turn it back on. If Safe Strap is installed, we should get the option to boot into Safe Strap. So you just click on this menu button as soon as that, um, as soon as the little window comes up here. So now we'll click on the menu. That's going to bring us into Safe Strap. So my stock ROM, that is my unsafe. Uh, partition of the phone so I can actually dual boot thanks to safe strap I can have my unsafe ROM and my safe ROM uh, so what we want to do here very first thing we want to do is we want to scroll down to backup and restore select that and uh, so select backup and select where you want to store it um, I chose internal SD card you can choose whatever uh, once you've done that go back and that's just in case you give something up, you'll always be able to uh, go back to a good state. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is go down to Safe Boot Menu. I guess I can try to get a little closer so you guys can see. Let's see here. Okay, maybe you guys can see that a little bit better. And uh, so you're going to select Safe Boot Menu. And you're going to toggle the Safe System. So if you can see there, it says that... Uh, my safe system is currently disabled. I want that to say enabled, and that's where I'm going to flash my safe ROM. So we'll go ahead and toggle that. It normally takes about five minutes to toggle between unsafe and safe systems. So here I'm going to pause it, and uh, as soon as the safe system comes up, we will uh, go ahead and flash our ROM. So I'll be right back. Okay, so when it's finished, you'll see down there where it says safe system is enabled. That's what you're looking for. Uh, from there, we'll go back. And from here, we can kind of, now that our safe system is enabled, we're on that secondary system. We're running our secondary ROM. We can kind of just uh, flash the ROM like we normally would any other ROM. So we're just going to wipe data factory reset. Select that. Go down to delete all user data. Select that. It's going to take a few minutes here, and I'll just let it run through the process here so you see how much time it takes. Um, I had assumed, and you know, I've run Safe System before on the Bionic, and it seems like things took a little bit longer than normal on uh, Safe Strap. But from my experience on the Droid 4, it really doesn't take any longer than it would on any other phone, uh, which is a plus for sure. So we'll keep it here for a few seconds and watch it wipe data. Of course, you can fast forward through this if you like. And like I said, hash code is uh, really tearing it up on the ROMs. I'm sure Droid Theory and D-Hacker will have some, some stuff out for the Droid 4 before you know it. Uh, but so far we have CM9 and AOKP ports to the Droid 4, so that's a very good start. Two of the better ROMs are right off the bat on this device, not bad if you ask me. Okay, so once it's finished wiping data, we'll get down to wipe cache, select that, and select uh, yes, wipe cache. Give that a few seconds. That normally doesn't take long at all. Then we will wipe Dalvik cache, format system. Okay, so now we're going to go down to advanced. Let's see here, advanced, 
Wipe Dalvik Cash, select that. Give that a second. Let's see here, go to Yes, Wipe Dalvik Cash. And as soon as that's finished, we'll go back. Okay, and then we're going to go to Mounts and Storage. Now you'll have to follow the install directions of your ROM because they don't all require you to format system. Some of them include the format system in the install script. So you don't always have to do this. So just kind of pay attention to your install instructions on your ROM. So we'll format the system. This normally takes a little longer, but we'll stay with it. Okay, that was actually pretty quick. So now we'll go back and then for the fun part, installing the ROM. So just go to install zip from SD card and choose zip from SD card. If you downloaded it directly to your phone, it's going to be on your internal SD card under download. So you're looking for the download folder, wherever that is. Always download mine directly to the phone. So here we are, uh, Droid 4 AOKP. And so we'll select that. This one comes with G apps. So you want to make sure that you download the G apps as well and have those ready because you install those in the same session. So we'll install the ROM. This normally takes a couple of minutes. And as soon as that's finished, we will install our G apps and uh, reboot into our new ROM. So that's the really cool thing about Safe Strap is I can do whatever I want in the safe system and I'm not really going to have to worry about uh, bricking my phone or soft bricking my phone because anytime I ever power up this phone it's always going to give me that safe uh, boot screen so that I can get into bootstrap and I can always toggle back to my unsafe system which hopefully I kept as my stock ROM. That being said, we still don't have a safety net. There are no FXZ files, no way to flash the stock ROM. Uh, so be sure that you're very careful when you follow instructions. Uh, and if you're not comfortable with the possibility of soft breaking your phone with no safety net, then you probably shouldn't even worry with this until we have some FXZ files released. Uh, that could take a while. Who knows when that will be here. So uh, if you're like me, You've done this several times on other devices, and this doesn't scare you or worry you. And safe strap really is safe, but you can never be sure. So just be very careful. And that's finished. So now we're going to go back to choose it from SD card. Internal SD card. Go down to that download folder where we downloaded our files. And select G apps. So this is going to install all of your G apps. Let that do its thing, and then we can reboot into our AOKP ROM. Now hopefully I can get a quick review of AOKP uh, up on the Droid Forms channel pretty soon. In fact, I may do that as soon as I finish this video, so be on the lookout for that as well. Overall, it is an awesome ROM. It has tons and tons of customization, so you definitely want to check out AOKP. And now that we're finished with that, we're just going to go back and reboot system now. And we are in our safe system, so this should just boot directly into the AOKP ROM. Or it may give us the boot menu. I think it may give us a little boot screen. Because it does that on every boot. Okay, yeah, so just press the search button and that's going to take you uh, directly to your ROM. All right, so here we have it. This is the Team Kang AOKP ROM for the Droid 4. That is how you install a ROM on the Droid 4 via safe strap. Guys, be sure to check out uh, droidforums.net for all the latest news in Android devices. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel, and I'm going to keep you updated on the Droid 4 and all the modifications that come out for it uh, for the next little while anyways. And be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if it's helped you out in any, any way. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the forums.